What is poppin'? It is a slapton. I am but a lowly slapton riding these DeFi waves. And this is This Week in Klimadow, where I give you all of the Klimadow news that is fit to go ape wild over. And what do we have on the screen right now on this conclusion of the third week in February 2022? It is not a black and green hacker s aesthetic website, but a nice, modern, sleek, inviting, dare I say, alluring Klimadow website. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and grills, climates of all ages, it is a new Klimadow website. To feast, to let your eyes just soak this in, okay? And if you haven't explored it already, you should. We have a landing page. You can scroll down We've got graphics, we've got metrics, we've got how-to videos, we've got explainers, newsletters, et cetera, et cetera. You can enter the app. When you enter the app, we get a nice little safety reminder so you don't get scammed. You get an ability to buy, stake, bond, wrap, clima. Man, oh man, did the team do a wonderful job on this. And if we've got this nice, modern, inviting new website, shouldn't we have some nice, modern, inviting partners? I'm glad you asked. Let us move to the Klimadow Partnership Fireside Chat video, in which Klima Infinity was launched, details were given. I will link you to this video, which is on the Klimadow official YouTube channel, which you should be subscribed to. Listen to it all at 1x speed. If you're feeling normie, 2x speed if you had a cup of coffee, 0.5x speed if you want to soak it in, and you can get all the details. But if you want an abridged version of Klima Infinity, then I will also link you to a pitch deck. And this would be a nice slide, uh, like basically a bunch of slides, 15 slides that show you what Klima Infinity is. We have some metrics. We have some benefits. There's no way that I can show you all this. Well, I could, but it would just take forever and you guys can scroll through it. But check this out. Here's it in a nutshell. You determine your organization's carbon footprint. You're going to multiply your carbon footprint by like 2x, something like that, 3x. So your carbon positive, your climate positive, climate positive. And then you're going to calculate how much climate you need based on your footprint. And you're going to convert the yield. You're going to convert your rebases to offset your carbon footprint. And you're going to create a public dashboard showing your carbon holdings and how much you've been offsetting. And that user uh, benefits are right here. More benefits. Oh, we got benefits all day long. And then you can have something that looks like this. A climate pledge dashboard showing your community, showing your user base if you're a company or corporation. This is what we're doing. This is what we're holding. And in that policy chat or in that uh, partnership chat, they had mentioned that companies are very interested in showing their stakeholders, showing their employees, showing their customers that they are doing the right thing in terms of environment because that is becoming increasingly important to stakeholders in a company. So I will link these two things. Explore that. But wait, there's more. KIP14. Exciting stuff. KIP14 is resilience mode. Exciting to me because it shows that the team is flexible. It shows that the team can pivot when they need to pivot. And the policy team put this forth and gave three options to vote. One is we leave the API where it is. The other option would be to reduce APY to 2K. And the last option is to reduce APY to 1K. At time of shooting of this video, option to reduce to 1K has a little less than 60% of the vote. Keep in mind this vote is open until February 21st. This is the closest vote to date, so I should and will encourage you to get your voice heard. Vote on this. Remember that you are the DAO. Do not let other people make decisions for you. Make sure to read the rationale, and the rationale is as such. Klima DAO, when it launched, had nothing in its carbon treasury. We had zero carbon tons. So the room for growth was massive, and we filled that growth. We went from zero tons to 16 million tons in short order. But here's the catch. While we're innovating, turning and burning, making things happen, because if you forgot, this is crypto baby, and this is Klima baby, and we have a mission baby, and we are fulfilling that mission, and we are making things happen, but we are to some degree reliant on off-chain markets 
catching up to our rapid breakneck pace, and they move a little bit slower. So policy is saying, let's temper our growth or our expectation, not temper our growth, but let's temper our expectation. Let's make sure that we don't run out of runway. Let's make sure that our incentives are aligned in terms of APY and bonding. Let's cut the APY and then let's cut the bonding at a commensurate rate, take the pressure off the protocol, allow for the utility of Klima and on-chain carbon to grow, and then we will revisit APY in the future. It's all written out. They say it better than I can. Take a look at this. Get your voice heard. Speaking of getting your voice heard, we'll do a little recap of a couple of KIPs that did resolve this week. KIP 13. These were mentioned in last week's This Week in Klima. I'm not going to go over them again. You can check out last week's This Week in Klima, which should be in this, play week, this playlist. KIP 13 passed with 99.9% .9 of the vote. Let's go, baby. KIP 12 inverse, inverse bonds passed with 91.52% of the vote. Let's go, baby. And speaking of getting your voice heard, C3. Our friends at C3 have were invited to office hours to do a Ask Me Anything. There's a video that I will link to, plus a transcript I will link to. Now, this was just a treasure trove of exciting information. I will highlight but a bit, just a tad bit of all the things that were mentioned in this chat, but I highly encourage you to look at the whole thing. Check this out. Aether, one of the, uh, oh, Aether is the largest um, broker of, or one of the largest brokers of carbon credits in Europe, and they are involved with C3. Archimedes asks, is it safe to infer that Aether with 1.1 billion, with a B, Revenue is going to migrate on-chain, to which Aether says it's truly our goal to open up the on-chain markets you read between the lines. $1.1 billion worth of revenue. Could that be coming on-chain as carbon credits? Aether says it's truly our goal to open up to the on-chain markets. Ha. Next question. Would like to know if NBO and UBO, now those would be the first pools that C3 is proposing that they launch on-chain. Are those pools, those tokens, and BCT compatible to which Laplace and Aether, Laplace is uh, one of the one of the head hot, the hefes at C3, uh, said it is a possibility. We will explore this. And this goes along what they were saying, uh, what we've been saying, or C3 has been saying, is that they hope to create a permissionless protocol in which any actor can create a pool of, of on-chain tokens. Last question I will highlight. I mean, this is just one section of this very lengthy ask me. I mean, just it's just a it's just a gold mine. It says, um, "Will the protocol C three be incentivizing wrapped staked Klima to which Laplace and C three said yes, they would be. We want to reward Klima holders and get a good distribution." This is definitely happening, meaning that if you lock up your rack state, rack of rule, wrap state Klima in the C3 protocol, you can receive governance tokens from C3. And if you haven't joined their Discord, I will leave a link to that. Get involved over there. Seem to be lovely people. Very exciting stuff. The third week in February. 2022, and I will leave you with this little mystery. Our love letter to the climate, created by Klima Dow. This was in advance of the Klima Infinity launch. These entities were mentioned, ECT Group, Offsetra, Thought for Food, Dovu, Charity Altru uh, and, and uh, NFT Charity Altruistic Activations, and one locked nameplate right here not a bank all in one balance cashback rewards if you've been paying attention to this channel if you've been paying attention to discord maybe you have a clue or two about who this is leave a comment if you think you know leave a comment if you don't know i want to know how closely you're paying attention it will all be revealed in time of course so stay tuned as we take our journey through these DeFi waves hang in there Stay tuned. And above all else, ape responsibly, would you? I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace, dudes. And dudettes.